Hi, this is Larry DiMarzio. The DiMarzio Company has a special relationship with Leslie West because his live sound in the late 60s was the inspiration for my first pickup, the Super Distortion. This is a behind the scene look at our recent conversation and photo shoot. Wait, you want me to do an imitation of when Larry calls you on the phone? <clears throat> Hi, Larry DiMarzio. It's never like, <laughs> no, it's Larry DiMarzio, give me a call. He's always so happy. My challenge was how to get his arena sound in a small club. What do you mean? You know, DiMarzio pickups are based on your sound. It's so nice to hear you say that. I said that! You know what was also great about coming out to your place in Staten Island? You had this board that had every pickup in it. <laughs> and I said, I would love to have this on stage, but all I have to do is flick a switch or a foot pedal. Imagine walking down the street with that umbrella. <laughs> you know, it's like, excuse me, fuck you, I don't want to get wet. Now you were the first guy to tell me that the secret to my sound, if there's a secret, is my right hand. Who were your early influences? I was trying to imitate Eric Clapton. First of all, I used the cheapest guitar that you could use I mean, seriously, a Les Paul Jr. was a tree with a microphone. <laughs> Everybody had these fancy Les Pauls. I couldn't afford a fancy Les Right. Pool. It's just a pickup, big, good piece of wood, and uh, volume and tone knobs that go to 11. Well, I can almost look at NYU out that window. I went to NYU, New York unemployment. <laughs> <laughs> Larry, you want to shoot this while I do? Yeah. I got, I'm dying to do this. <laughs> okay, take it away. Yeah, take it away. <laughs> Whose idea was it to bring it back? You know what my theory about that is? It's like a, a chef. If you give somebody all the ingredients in a recipe and they go cook it, it's not going to come out exactly the same. If you listen to certain, uh, certain songs, all of a sudden in the middle of a song you hear a solo, it has nothing to do with the song. And I never could play that fast. I only play with these two fingers still. <laughs> the idea is I couldn't play that fast, so I would play slow enough and maybe fast enough that you could sing back what I'm playing. And so I think the solo is supposed to be a song within the middle of the song. I played with Van Halen once at Jones Beach, and he gave me his guitar to play. His, he plays flat out full volume all the time and he just blunts it with his hand, you know, and that's his volume control, really. I don't even think he has a tone control on the guitar. I think Eddie Van Halen told me that whammy bar was just like a break to slow him down, you know, and so I never really was good at that, but I tried to make the vibrato into that. <laughs> <laughs>